Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Uptown Charlotte at rain-soaked Bank of America Stadium. Today, we've got a good week five. The Carolina Reigns have arrived as we are inside a soggy Bank of America stadium in Charlotte. Today, we've got a good Week 5 matchup in store here between the San Francisco 49ers and the Carolina Panthers. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in Week 5 on EA Sports. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Uptown Charlotte at rain-soaked Bank of America Stadium. Today, we've got a good Week 5 matchup in store here between the San Francisco 49ers and the Carolina Panthers. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in Week 5 on EA Sports. Fields it right around the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further.
They run with a second round pick from Iowa State. This is Brees Hall. And he put up a good fight, but he's going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Hall again on second down. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. This defense for the Niners, they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. And I think our statistician, we ended up having to bring the blue tent and put it around him for a while because he was developing a hand injury from having to write down all the turnovers this team forced. Five, six, seven, eight. Absolutely unbelievable. I hope he'll recover. In motion, Hill. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that will be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Taking it about the 36. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Niners set up well. They take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. First and 10, it's Patterson. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be. Right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. And sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. Hal throwing on third down here. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Interesting decision here. Opening drive, Charles, fourth and short. You're in field goal range. We'll see what they do. I just shake a fist at my offense and say, go get it, guys, because if you can't pick up fourth and short here, we're probably in trouble the rest of the game. Show some confidence. Show some aggressiveness. Go pick it up. But when you do call quarterback sneak, you don't mind if your quarterback's a little bit on the vertically challenged side, do you? Because he's just going to hide behind his big guys up front and be able to surge forward and pick up the first down. And he'll decide to keep this once more. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Cordero Patterson with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Niners are on the board first here this afternoon. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the follow-through. And that flag accepted. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. Now Hall to start the drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. 
Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Hey, what's happening, guys? All again on second down. Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. From the gun on third, Watson. He gets it underneath to Hall, and he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. The Panthers had two and two through the first four weeks of the season. And Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but the attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them galvanize themselves and go forward and get a win in this one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. On second down, a run with Hall. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. On third down, here's Hall. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They'll go for it. It's Hall. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. I love those plays. Fourth and one, that's who wants it more this time, the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage?